In this video, we will learn about histograms, what they are, and how to create one. A histogram is a visual tool used to represent the frequency of specific outcomes. It employs rectangular bars to denote individual outcomes and categorizes them into different bins or buckets. Let's explore this concept through an example. First, we collect data, such as the average ratings of sushi restaurants, as the numbers provided in the data set, which go between 1 and 5. Next, we construct a chart with bins along the horizontal axis and a count of outcomes occurrences along the vertical axis. We systematically place each data point into its respective bin based on the value it represents. For instance, the value 1 is allocated to the bin with a lower bound of 1 and an upper bound of 2. This process is repeated for each data point, such as the value 3.2 goes on the third bin. And we continue with the value of 2.5 in the bin 2. When a bin value is repeated, we add another rectangle on top of the existing one within the same bin and increment the count. And we can continue this process with the 2.2 in bin 2. We have 2.6, which is another value on bin 2. We have a 1.3 in bin 1. We have a 3.3 in bin 3. We add our last value on bin 2, which increases our counts to 4. And finally, we have one occurrence of the number 4.9 in bin 4. After processing all the data points, the histogram is complete. This visual representation allows us to gain insights from our data set. For instance, we can determine the most common value in the dataset, which in this example is bin 2, indicating that four restaurants had a ratings between 2 and 3. Moreover, we can deduce that restaurants with reviews between 2 and 3 is four times more prevalent than reviews between 4 and 5. With more extensive datasets, we can delve deeper into the distribution of outcomes, for instance, if we were to roll a six-sided die a thousand times and create a histogram, we would observe a uniform distribution where each of the six values appears equally. Histograms can also capture more intricate distributions, like the height of individuals, which often follow a Gaussian or normal distribution resembling a bell curve. 